a uh, short introduction about Sri Dharani Dharpalji is that uh, he is a sadhak member and trustee of Sri Aurobindo Sh Sri Shetra, the largest ashram of Mother and Sri Aurobindo in Odisha, established in 1974 on a 200-acre land. He joined the ashram in 1984 after a short span of service in LIC, from which he resigned. He was a devotee of Sri Aurobindo since 1972. He was nominated in charge of Sri Aurobindo Sri Shetra Ashram by Sri Ramakrishna Das, called respectfully as Babaji Maharaj, a prominent Odia Sadak of Sri Aurobindo Ashram Pondicherry, who was to say the founder of Sri Aurobindo Sri Shetra. Sri Dharanidhar Palji was previously invited by Shavit Savitri Musical Trust, Bangalore in 2016 to deliver his talk on Savitri. And also he gave a talk on Savitri at Alsor the last time. He is also a regular contributor of Savitri Readers Foundation, Bhuvaneshwar. He writes regularly on Savitri in Sri Aurobindo Sri Shetra WhatsApp group. Now I request Dharnidhar Palji to take over the session. And uh, thank you once again, sir, for taking your time for us today. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Aurobindo. Salute to the Supreme Lord Sri Aurobindo, the last human avatar. Salute to the new Neo Veda, the supramental Veda, Savitri. The Autobiography of Mother and Shobindo. This is written symbolically using Savitri Sotiran episode as narrated by Rishi Markandeya in the Bana Barba from Mahabharata. It is written according to the Vedic style. Sri Aurobindo given the symbolic interpretation of the Vedas in his work, Secret of Arisi Madhuchanda, Vaishwamitra, which starts from raising Agni, the inner soul, and inflaming his will, which burns up walls, assembles all universal gods, and meets the Supreme Sun, then brings down his absolute power into the physical, clears all intervening powers and recovers the divine hidden at the bottom of the inconstant and releases all his powers of perfection. Sri Aurobindo adds here the supramental power of the Supreme Sun Savitru and his active power, Surya Savitri, which will rescue Satya and the inner soul from the clutches of death here on earth and fulfills all his heavenly dreams to perfect earth and transform what has fallen into its divine comfort. Thus an integral perfection will be achieved on earth and in the human being, his soul manifesting divine love, his mind manifesting absolute wisdom, your jodi, his vital manifesting the divine power, Tezus, and his body manifesting divine beauty and immortality. Thus, Savitri is a battle against darkness and ignorance, a battle against suffering and pain, a battle against falsehood, and a battle against death. Mother and Srivindu have won the battle. By bringing down to earth the supramental consciousness, which is now active in the earth atmosphere since 1950. And is pursuing its after transformation. They have attained victory at a certain level of consciousness and at certain areas. And now the ground battle is going on since the transforming light and love have manifested. It is song in the symbol dawn where Sri Aurobindo has blown his victory cock and welcoming all to join in this adventure. 
Actually, this uh, John Stravindo has this, this, the first uh, canto is the entry point, is a gateway to Savitri. Savitri is the mother. Savitri is the supplementary body. And this John Usha, so many Vedic rishis has uh, invoked Usha. And as I told in Vaishwami, uh, Madhusanda Vaishwami, in his yoga, first he invoked Agni, the inner soul, then Indra, Vayu, then uh, uh, Mitra Varna, then um, the Ashwinas, then Saraswati and his concert, and, uh, and her concerts, then Usha. Usha is the light of the soul. Usha is the power of the soul. Usha is the emissary of Savitri. Usha is the understanding. And see, her light is the light of the soul, where there is peace, universal peace, universal equality, universal wisdom, universal divine power. Every she is the mediatrix. Savitri and uh, we human beings, our human soul, as, uh, Usha is the mediatrix. Usha is the ambassador. So many Vedic races, they have uh, invoked Usha. When Usha means the soul is released. The soul which is in the background is, uh, is hidden within. It releases, it, it opens its face. Uh, and, and the light it emanates. That is Usha. And she is a Devi. Because the Westerners, they cannot, uh, our Hindu gods and goddesses, they cannot uh, understand. So it is called symbol dawn. So many receipts of the Vedas, they have, those who have invoked Usha, they are namely both, uh, the important ones, Praskarva, Tarva, Bodhama, Kutsa, Angirasa, Kakhivan, Bamadeva, Vishwamitra, Bharatwas. They are important receipts of the Vedas and uh, mostly uh, Basistha has uh, five to six Usha Suptas he has written. It's, it's not written. He has seen those, uh, um, they are seers. They have seen those mantras, the Vedic rituals, rit, uh, rits, uh, which is coming down from the upper hemisphere. So this Usha is a Devi. It's just not symbol Don, but Don is a goddess. And we must open to her. We must first welcome her. Uh, and she will uh, take us to Savitri. What is the whole of Savitri will open before us. She is the daughter of the sun. She is the goddess of the supreme truth, the supramental truth. And she is the divine word, the mantra. She is the ring. She is the saman. She is the jazus. Uh, she is the divine word which reveals itself. So, this is the great importance of the symbol law. That she's a baby, she's a goddess, she's a living entity. Uh, in this way, we welcome Usha, we open to her. Now, entering into symbol law. The physical dawn is used as a symbol for the spiritual which is the manifestation of a new knowledge, new consciousness, new power, new form of beauty. Oh, it is the city of dawn. Uh, exceptionally, a new creation, a new relationship of love and a new beginning on earth. A new form of beauty. The 150, 50th birth anniversary intensifies the action of such forces. We shall be merging with Savitri from dawn to the eternal day of perfection, that is, to the Supreme Spiritual Sun, to the Supreme Divine. So Savitri has 12 books, like the 12 months of the year. The first book is the book of beginning, of which the first canto is the symbol dawn, and the first line is, it was the hour before the gods come. Almost all the Upanishads, as in the Veda, there is called in the 10th mandala, 
there is a nasadiya sutra i will uh, uh, put some uh, line some verses it is uh, the, the rishi is prajapati parameshwar what was how the creation began what was at the beginning no asat asit no sat asit tadanin natit rajo no byumo paro yat kim maariba huha kasya saramanna ambaha kim asit gahanam gahiram non existence asat means non existence there was not nor existence means sat neither the principle of movement nor space there beyond but covered over all but that is ever even and where and what was uh, any resting place what were the waters there is only fathomless abyss so this was uh, in the nasadiya sutra of the 10th mandala of rigveda even in the upanishads every upanishad says how the creation began so similarly in the first line of uh, savitri it begins it was the hour before the gods awake the gods are being supplied there and their nature their body their being everything is made of light there is lightness there is reason there is reason, there is knowledge there is awareness there is consciousness when god said not go on then there is darkness what is unmanifest from our side what is unmanifest is not known to us we are only to see and we have on, our, on the earth we have evolved from the inconscient that is a suda so it was the hour before the god awake across the path of the divine event which is the creation the huge forwarding mind of life the gods have the mind of life but there was this mind of night alone in her only temple of eternity lay stretched in mobile upon silence mark a fathomless zero occupied the world this was the beginning means the unmanifest ever and the inconstant below so definitely we need the help of usha to lead us towards the light i am just uh, quoting those uh, lines which mother has selected important lines in the symbol dome at all the brain and arm are trans of flesh this to the silent and dark a formless stupor without mind or life a shadow spinning through a soulless void thrown back once more into unthinking dreams art world abandoned in the hollow woods forgetful of her spirit and her fate so when creation is beginning in the material creation earth was also in constant like a dark shadow they something in the inscrutable darkness sky and then less movement and on to it idea insistent dissatisfied without a name something that wished but no not how to be teased the inconstant to wait ignorance though there was darkness though there was silence what even has come out from the divine the divine is that hidden within what he has created so then something what is that something 
the divine itself, his absolute presence, means the action of light from above, where there is the eternal savitri. The action from above has stack. And the hidden consciousness, the soul at the bottom, are with them. It is though fallen to our nature, fallen into the inconscient, but once then uh, the in, that's something, then something in the inscrutable darkness. Start. So it is it wants it becomes it wants to reveal its nature. So it is tiring, even in this uh, inconscient, a nameless movement, so he's very tiring, a nameless movement, an altered idea, the idea, the I of capital, the idea comes from where? It is the divine idea. Insistent, dissatisfied, without an aim, something that waste but knew not how to be. He wants to regain its status or reveal itself, but doesn't know how to do it. Tease the inconstant to wait ignorance. This is action of life. This is the action of Usha. The mediatrix. An onset consciousness desired life and a black and a blank presence yearn towards this and change. It doesn't want to stay all along in the constant. In constant, must become constant. Must become free. Must become delightful. Must become full of power. As if a childlike figure laid on a chip, reminded the endless need in things, the heedless mother of the universe, an infant longing clasped the slumber first. The will of the divine, the will of the soul, that something, it organizing around itself. What must be done? So, Earth Mother also, where there is inconstance, Earth Mother gets organized. She's taking form, preparing the surroundings. Arrive from the other side of boundlessness, an eye of deity peers to the dawn disk, a scar in a reconnaissance from the sun. It seemed amid a heavy cosmic rest, the torpor of a sick and weary world where we are now, this earth, to seek for a spirit soul and destroy it, too fallen to recall it. This is the descent of light and the eternal sanitary, our mother, she responds to the call. Then some select lines. All can be done if the God passes there. The eternal sanitary, the transcendent sanitary, if she looks at us, if she touches us, all can be done. A hope stolen, hardly dare to be. And it denies stolen in the forest. Into a far up nook of heaven, there came a slow, miraculous gestures beam at you. The mother is coming. Come on, come to me. Rise up. A helping hand of light. Have you know, as God said, their beams of light, their body is made of light, their nature is divine nature. So, whether Usa or Savitri, when they will, they will come to help us, their helping hand is the helping hand of light, light that is consciousness. So, a wandering hand of pale, enchanted light. That hand is a hand of light that is full of divine power, divine bliss, divine substance. When she comes to help us, she comes 
with all this that glowed along your fading moment's spray. First, with gold panel and a palace and kings, a gate of dreams, azar on mistress' birth, one lucian corner, windowing hidden things, forced the world's blind immensity to sight, as if we are imprisoned here in the bonds. And the others very touched. It teared apart the covering. The darkness held and slipped like a falling cloth. This is what miracle happened. The, the divine touch, the God touch, the touch of Usha, the touch of sight. From the reclining body of a god, darkness fell and slipped. This is the divine help, the divine grace, the divine gift of your window. A glamour from on rich transcendences from the eternal cemetery. Iridescent with the glory of the onsen, sees the onsen, and the beauty, the beauty. It's a really set, full of colors, multiple colors. A message from the unknown immortal light. Savitri, uh, the light for knowledge is immortal light. That blazed upon creation's quivering edge. Dawn built her aura of magnificent hills. And buried a seed of grandeur in the arms. It is just not a, even a, a time phenomenon, a physical event. She brings with her a new manifestation, an epiphany. Dawn built her aura, something new, something beautiful, something exceptional going to happen on earth. I'm here. I'm here to quote that a lot of seers whom I have named already, that they have written the Usha Sukta. And I will just recite one uh, rig of Kutsa uh, Angirasa, uh, which is open quoted by Sri Aurobindo. Idam Sestam Jodisam Jodihi Avat. Chitraha as an ist of Ibwa, Chitraha Prakito as an ist of Ibwa, Yatha Prasuta Sabitu Shavayam, Eva Rapri Ushasi Jonim Ari. This excellent light, fairest of all light, has arrived, born at those far staining and many hued rays of noise. It's just not a physical light. Even at Usha, Born of night. And mysteriously, Sister Yamini, she sees the light that gives birth to Usha, that is Jyoti Prakas. And from Jyoti Prakas, I am going to uh, our Lahiri Sahib, Suhanka, uh, everything is auspicious. The Usha, whatever Usha brings to us, is, is, is auspicious. And this uh, this spreads forth on earth. Even as Usa will give birth to the sun, Usa will give birth to Savitri. The night gives birth, the, uh, the night gives birth to the sun. The 20 such verses of Usa Sutta of Kutsa Angirasa, in substance, it is, uh, it, Usha brings to us the birth of knowledge. She opens the door, as I said, this uh, symbol door opens the door to Savitri, is the gateway to Savitri. And uh, she comes with the deeper invocations. She's sovereign of all riches, as uh, the Usha Shukta of uh, uh, Kutsa speaks about. She even can. Uh, Awaken the date. 
उषा मृतम कंचन बोधयन उत्तराद्योन The whole world, Prabhu Hayam, modern of the dance, gives life and exists. It comes with life, a new life, and it that will make us immortal. So science, the word in us, the word mantra, process the truth, the Brahman in you, beauty. And our soul has emerged by their very touch. Our soul will, will come forth, will really release it, itself, and will come forth. Jibo ashuhuna ava. Sign and ask a long life. Magoni asme aya aya ha ni dadahi ni dadahi. And what's me? This is the capacity for work. Divine work that will transform us, transform us. Jab chitra matna usha shuva. Just I give you a little example of how Utsav in Bhutu Shah to take him to the Supreme Shah. Her role in the Sadhana. Similarly, the symbol doll, which is the trailer. Is the is the gateway, and also in brick it gives what savitri is the whole of savitri in brick. So we'll go how Usha came on a thin border. Avoid the vision still. She came with a light, with a vision. What will happen? What is the future? A, and bent over, ask pondering for his curse. Whatever our problems, why we are so much puzzled? She is going to erase everything once more. The eternal savitri came down as an avatar. Here or not, once more a trade part of the wagon passes. Infinity center, a face of rapturous sky. Our mother, our divine mother, she is savitri. She is mothering. She is universal mother. She is the transcendent mother. She is the mother in the individual form. Parted the eternal lids that open heaven. A phone from far here it will send to me. She comes with all that is great and heavenly. And the address to its eternity and change. Eternity is all above our head, and the earth is a ground of change. Coming constant to the super constant, that wrap the fitted journeys of the stars. There is a star within us, everybody. There is a sun within everybody. There is a sun within everybody. The sun from which we control all our suns. That sun is the eternal savitri. And we, our future is fated. We do not know what will happen the next day. Or even today, that read the fated journeys of the star, and saw the spaces ready for her feet. Once we call the mother, we surrender to the mother, we open to the mother. A space is open for her to come down, to respond, to take possession of us. As happens in the individual to the individual, so to the earth. 
are felt, the impenetrable peasants closed. The waking year of nature are as best. Here everything is struggling. Now a helping hand comes down and Masarita herself comes down as the avatar to help us directly, openly, best of us. The waking year of nature caught her sex, and whiteness turned to her into limitless art, and scattered on silver her luminous smile. Her smile spreads that rays of wisdom, rays of power, rays of delight, rays of new stuff. And scatter on soul death her luminous fire that, that spreads the seeds of life, seeds of new creation, kindle to fire the silence of the world. Divine activity is crowded all over. All grew. What is the divine way of doing things? We offer everything to the divine. This sense of sacrifice and surrender and offering. We hear ordinary human beings, we do everything for our, to satisfy our desire, the egoistic uh, uh, will. But a yogi, the soul, he is of the divine, he is for the divine, and is guided by it. So here, the very influence and action of Sarita, her very coming down to earth, all due a consecration and a right. All life activities uh, is an offering to the divine. Air was vibrant link between earth and heaven. Air stands for the light energy. The wide winged hymn of a great priestly wind. Sanskrit mantra. And his line is charged with the light, with the presence of the mind. So long we are not identified with that light and presence. Mother says, nobody has understood Sarita except her. The so soul who have not discovered that light, not identified with that, we have not really understood. The wide winged beam of a great crystal wind arose and fell upon the altar hills. The high bows spread in a reveling sky. Everything is now opening. Next, here, now we ordinary human beings, where we are, and what Savitri wants to uh, offer to us, here, where our nose not even the steep in front, and truth has I have thrown on the shadowy back of doubt, and this anguished and precarious spirit of toil, Outspread when it's some indifferent gaze, a parcel witness to our joy and bell, our prostrate soil war, the awakening red. Our fallen human state and how uh, uh, it bore the soil, the earth, bore the awakening red. The excess of beauty natural to God kind. Couldn't uphold his claim and time when I, too mystic real for pestilence. Her body of glory was exposed from heaven. The rarity and wonder lived no more. There was the common light of earthly day. She almost equated herself to her earth and its problems. All sprang to their unvarying deviates. We human beings open, we couldn't understand that higher things. We soil everything, mix everything, come down and pull everything to our level. All sprang to their unvarying belliacs. The thousand people of the soil and tree obeyed the unforcing instant earth and leader here with his uncertain mind alone who stares at the 
futures for her face, man lifted up the burden of his back. With the people of the 20th century, or the 21st century, we work, we struggle with our life. And savagery to our walk, our way among the strands. This avatar savagery. Yeah, this is our soul, one with us. Yeah. That hasten to join the brilliant shamanas child. You must come back. How the new idea, new vision has declared the possibility of man rising to uh, God nature, to the divine. That is the work of savagery, the avatar. A narrow movement and times deep abysm. Life preserved littleness denied the power. The proud and conscious wideness and the bliss she had brought down with her into the human form, the calm delight that was that wakes one soul to all, the key to the flaming doors of ecstasy. Savitri has come with this thing. But we are not yet conscious, we, are not, we have not yet collaborated, we have not yet recognized. Ah, it's brain that needs the sap of pleasure. Yes. We people, ordinary people, we are guided by our desire, we are now lacking, and something wrong happened, we cry, we are crying, this open up. Rejected the undying raptures, raptures, boom. Offered to the daughter of infinity, her passion power, love and doom seeking. Rather misused. Mortality, our human nature, through the describes. Mortality bears ill the eternal touch, inflicting on the highest the abysm's law. When somebody has come and says, a human being, we think he's just a human being like us. It swallows with its maya. Aaron's messengers, we miss the heart, even the divine personalities. A stone of fallen nature at the defense, it turns against the severe hands of grace. Samitra has come with the severe hands of grace. The divine grace, it makes the sons of God with faith and faith. Thus trapped in the gene of our predestinies, but Sabit will not retreat, Sabit will not, our mission is to transform the earth. Thus trapped in the gene of the earth predestinies, awaiting her audience our effort, outcast from her inborn felicity, accepting life's obscure terrestrial growth, hiding herself even from those she loved, the God had created by a human faith. She will not soften to human faith. Though accepted all human problems and all uh, um, all these human fallacies. But she is to fight with that. She is to suffer that. Against the evil that lies afflicted rules. The inconscient that is there. The Bhutra, Bhutra that is there. Uh, the adverse forces that are there. Her own calamity strive is trying, of her pangs and made a mystic poem and God man short. Savitri is here to fight against those adverse forces. The being of falsehood, the being of faith, the being of suffering, and the being of darkness. At the summons of her bodies, voiceless call. A strong, far-winged spirit travel back, back to the yoke of ignorance and fate, back to the lever and stress of mortal days, lighting a pathway through strange symbol brains, across the ebbing of the seas of sleep. Savitri accepted all human problems, again fighting against those intervening forces to win the victory of the divine here on earth. So here, there were also lines from Savitri. Fate. Art. Fate. Do. We want an immortal life on earth. It's not possible. Yet. We love. But our love doesn't last. 
and uh, there is uncertainty a fake because so far we are not fully conscious we have not got the supreme wisdom so everything is half mad sarik has come down to bring the intuitive perfection the divine perfection and to establish here on earth so she's there to fight she's doing sadhana for the whole earth in mobile in herself she gathered force this was the day when shaktabai was there this is the end of the first uh, first canto so this is the issue that shaktabai her lover is the sacrifice of the purusha and the sacrifice of the prakriti shaktabai is the divine uh, he, he is the eternal soul in man the divine soul in man the symbol and he, he, the soul is there in every body but the physical body has not yet been transformed has not yet become can can under the hold of of the truth be there is still false there is still suffering false darkness in man in this body so this is the issue and this issue will be solved by sadhguru sadhguru's mission is this to rescue shaktavan from the process of death and to establish divine life on earth and this is her part and this is the task and as i say sanitary open source new before us a new future and it's a tangible that our soul be divinized man will be transformed into the superman mind will be transformed into the superman the luminous man the luminous body the luminous light the luminous being this is the certainty and sabit is going to attain this for mankind to win this victory this face the challenge this is what she will do and this is what usha she is the messenger she brings this message to us be not hopeless she brings us with the hope each of us took the answer wonderful and uh, i request that uh, we must uh, know what our answer says shrivan has told that six rishis they have attained such siddhis which must be repeated over and over again he selected uh, from those six rishis those this is were uh their uh surat chip and under his karma karma ko bhora ko thama atri angira sakutsa and kapiva they have done such wonderful sadhana and what they have achieved in different angles is must be repeated again and again by letter sadhas so this is in nafsa uh, and i have uh, also uh, okay this is a simple introduction i what do i get important to this symbol down that she is usha she is a goddess and in that way we will love sabitri love usha in hope usha she will help us to go forth to unravel the rest of the mystery that is sabitri the supermental gods and uh, so i selected this topic uh, uh, um, this is the doorway if the first button is that the right place rest will fall rest will go well so let us invoke goddess usha the messenger the mediatrix the ambassadress 
So let me stay here. Thank you all. Uh, all my those who are on the all brothers and sisters, those who are listening to me online, then we can go for if there anybody has to put the cuts. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a wonderful time hearing Dharani Dharmau. The mo anything said about him is utterly insufficient. I've been very closely following him and I have been uh, in touch with him and I have been, uh, I have great reverence for him. His selfless dedication to work at at uh, Dali Joda near Katak is unbelievable. And uh, <clears throat> it's very rare to have someone who is so drenched in Sri Aurobindo's philosophy, so drenched in Savitri and B, whatever it is, and in, um, in Vedas, uh, that uh, it's rare to hear such a person. We are extremely thankful to have you, Dharinder Babu. I can't tell you uh, uh, how fortunate we are, and many people may not know how fortunate they are, that they have heard you. And uh, especially this Canto 1, Canto 1, the symbol dawn of Savitri, is uh, ranked perhaps as the most difficult of all the cantos. Because of, uh, because of subtleties involved, because of, you know, significance behind the significance, behind the significance that is built in, the utter darkness and the present darkness, all that that is built in into this. And it flows right from the Rigvedic suktas. And that is what the author has also said. Sri Aurobindo has said in author, author's note also. And so he has brought that in very beautifully in such a short period uh, so that we all have uh, benefited immensely. As we have been discussing in our sessions that without the knowledge of Veda and, and the life divine, understanding Savitri is perhaps uh, is a futile attempt. You will only tick it as having read, but we will not. Have, we would not have gone into it. So we must, we must immensely thank Dharindarji for uh, giving us time and speak with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for gracing this place and gracing this occasion. So, uh, please invite him to explain all the Usha Suttas. Okay. Uh, that the ten rishis I have put it, Vasista, uh, let him uh, take a session of the, uh, uh, of the all Usha Suttas. Let him explain. And he sees an adapt on the letters. And um, <laughs> let him, so that the symbol will be more clear. And how the rishis have seen, and how Usha is a goddess. And uh, how the house that brings uh, all those treasures of heaven to earth, and how it leads us towards the supreme divine, towards the transcendent divine, what should we look for the supramental uh, Godhead, the supreme sun, and there are seven suns of the supreme when the earth and the body will be transformed, the whole uh, supreme rise uh, about to Ashwapati, his whole body become a single sun. So this, uh, we have known this physical sun, but, this, but the spiritual sun, the vital sun, mental sun, uh, physical sun, but there is a supernatural sun, and the soul is also a sun. So from Ushara to the sun, in the spiritual ascent, and also they descend, how to bring down that solar consciousness, solar power, down into matter, and to the recovery of the lost hearts and the lost sun, and the Marthanda, uh, and then the sun hidden in the cell, that the sun hidden uh, beyond, even behind the concept, 
And the ultimate uh, dream is to fight out all the lost forces and to recover the lost sun and the lost hearts, the lost life, lost wealth, the divine wealth by which the new body will be built. That's right. Uh, so this case, so let uh, you invite him to your session uh, or let it be online. Uh, let him explain all Usasupasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasas
to our lower plants. Just like as the river flows, the distribution flows from higher world. So Mother Saraswati is basically mother of water, seven waters, seven rivers, seven oceans. So there are so many symbolism and how the forces, uh, how the law is, uh, it flows down. And those who are open and surrendered and uh, have right instrument, uh, they got them together. So four concepts means Ila. Ila means illumines. Uh, she reveals, revelation uh, is Ila. So there's a deity. She's a deity. Ila is a deity. And Saraswati, Mahi is a deity. Saksina is a deity. Discrimination. Uh, suppose the Justice Shwar. If you put uh, uh, water and milk, uh, I'm thinking very uh, physical explanation uh, uh, that how uh, the swan will drink the milk and eat the water. Uh, this is the discrimination. And the soul for the, the, the swan for the soul, uh, it can discriminate what is truth and false. Uh, just not water and milk, but it can discriminate what is truth and what is false. So these are the concepts of Saraswati. Saraswati is, uh, has four concepts, four babies, four having four faculties, divine faculties, divine powers, uh, spiritual powers. But again, she is mother of seven rivers. Saraswati is quite vast. And the most of the actual reasons they have so we invoke Saraswati. Uh, Saraswati uh, is Saraswati. <laughs> you know, this is uh, uh, you know Saras, uh, just like uh, uh, it's a lake, uh, it, it, the lake of the ocean of knowledge, the ocean of the creative knowledge. And Saraswati is the mother of works, mother of intuition, mother of discipline, mother of perfection, mother of transformation, mother of new creation. So Sri Ramana's Mahasaraswati, she has lifted Mahasaraswati to still higher heights. And when the four powers of the mother will be harmonized, then only one can be aware of the super. So, uh, it is uh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for taking your time for us and doing this session. Thank you all. Have a great day.